being a part of the Saltwater Fellowship in its inaugural year is an opportunity to develop leadership skills, to build relationships, to work side by side with people that have a vested interest in the Miami area to solve problems. And we know one of the greatest problems that we face in Miami, as diverse as it is, is problem of inequity. This fellowship to me, being in a room with other incredible leaders and sharing insights into what's happening in Miami and how we can grow Miami together in a stronger, more resilient Miami to me is what I've always been about. I'm excited to be a part of this, to hear what other leaders have to say, to hear what their challenges are, to be in a safe space to share, to grow, to learn. When we're talking about communities of color, where people thought that there was a one-size-fits-all strategy to addressing communities of color. Every community was different. You know, we need foot soldiers in all of these communities. Being able to feel the pulse on, on the ground and to know what the needs are in a community. I would say that we deeply believe that hope is a discipline. We have an opportunity to ground ourselves in the true challenges that Miami-Dade County is facing, but also put forth our best solutions. You know, I say I trust no, nobody else. Like I trust our people to be at the forefront of innovative solutions because we know the issues that our communities are experiencing. We often come from our communities. This is truly some of the hardest work I've ever done. I've worked in corporate America. And one big misconception is that it's just community service. It's so much more than that. What we've been able to do is we've been able to change the trajectory of young people and their families' lives for generations to come. In a community that I actually grew up in. If Miami can be that wonderful tourist destination where people from all over the world come to travel and play and enjoy, why can't Miami also be that place where people want to be born? I'm really interested in making sure that over the next five years, we become a model for the rest of the nation. I think like whatever solutions and opportunities we can seize in Miami and in Florida to show what a thriving future looks like will be like critically important for anywhere else in the country or even around the world that faces similar challenges. My hope is that the fellowship would serve as a platform to elevate our work, to elevate our issues, but also to uh, foster unity across movements so that folks are able to work as a collective to address the most pressing needs and the most pressing problems that South Florida face. The much needed resources that we're going to be able to provide to our community, it's going to be priceless. And so I'm very excited to be a part of the cohort and to be able to continue to do the work with the help of the foundation. You know, what I hope is that the wider community recognizes the wealth of the talent and leadership that exists here. This should be a testament that there are powerful and innovative and passionate and connected and inspirational leaders right here. That's where resources and opportunities and alignments should be made. And what's happening in our backyard 